this video we will learn how to write to a file and how to read a file in cypress so i have created a sample test over here now i will write my it block so first we will see how we can write how we can write to a file so write to a file i mean how we can create a new file and how we can add data to that file okay so write to a file So for in Cypress, in order to create a new file and in order to add data to a file, we use this cy.write file. So cy.write file over here, you have to pass the name of the file. So let's say I will pass first test.txt. So I'm creating a file with txt extension. And then at the same time, I'm, I will add some data also let's say i want to pass over here cypress test so what it will do it will create a new file first test.txt and that file will have this data cypress test so one more thing important thing so first test.txt would be created at the root level of the project so over here if you see on the left side so this is my project it will be created over here in the root level not under some folder not under cypress or not under node modules it would be created at the root level okay so let's write uh, let's run this one and we'll see if file got created or not so i'll go to terminal run the command npx cypress open now we'll select i'm selecting chrome as browser we'll select our test <coughs> Yeah, it got passed. So let's go back to a test case and we'll see over here. Now there should be a file. So you see first test.txt got created and it should have data as Cypress test. So you see Cypress test got added to that. Okay. So now this is how we create a new file. What if you want to add some data to an existing file? So in that case, what we'll do, we will I'll just copy this one let's say for same file so i am i have to add some more data to my same file in that case i will pass the name of the file and then the data which i want to pass let's say my i am passing hello world i want this data to be added and next you have to pass an argument so that is flag so in this you have to pass flag and pass the value as a plus so what it will do it will append so this a plus means it will append to my existing file existing data sorry so this file will have already have this data but now i want to add some more data so i have to pass a plus so if i run my test case and see over here it got passed we will just see our file if it has the updated text or not so you see hello world got added so what if I want to pass in the next line, what I'll do, I will pass slash n. So it will, it will add my next data into the next line. Okay. So whatever data I'm passing, appending to that file, it will be added to the next line. So you see now, hello world got added to the next line. So this is how you create a text file and how you add data to a text file. So now this was for the text file. What if you want to create a JSON file? Because let's say you want to create some file which has key value pair. In that case, what I'll do, I will create cy.write file. And in that case, I will pass the file name as, let's say I want to pass it as test1.json. So JSON is basically extension of the file. And I'm creating a new file with this .json format. Okay. And over here, I will create an object because in JSON we pass the data as key value pair. So uh, my first, let's say I want to pass data one as key and the value is test one. And the second one is data. Okay. And over here you can pass the value as maybe test two. Okay. So now what I did, I created a file in JSON format and I added this data. So this data, I have created an object. So this file would be created with the this pass data it will have two keys data one and data two and it will have 
these values okay now let's run our test case and see if it got created or not so my test case got passed over here let me just see so in my project there should be a file test1.json you see now there's a file got created and it has this key value pair okay so now we saw how we can create different files and how we can create in different extension with the data now let's say i want to create a file at specific path then i need to pass the path of the file over here so now we created test1.json at the root level now if i want to create test1.json at different path what i'll do i'll just copy the same thing over here i will path i will write the path so now if i want to create my file under cypress under fixtures so under fixtures we have one file now example.json if i want to create a file at this path so i have to pass over here the file path so it starts from cypress so cypress by default this is my project directory it creates in the project directory but inside that i want to create under cypress then fixtures and then my file name so cypress fixtures and i will name it as test2.json okay so now what it will do it will create a file not at the project level root level but at inside the fixtures folder okay let's run our test case and see so it got passed over here and in the log also you can see write file and over here it is uh, showing also the file name is .txt or write file.json now let's go to fixtures and see over here okay so over here i created cypress with single s pass cypress with single s that's why uh, in the fixtures folder i can't see a file but i can see over here on the left side you see there's a new folder which got created with name cypress and then inside that fixtures and we have a new file test2.json so what it will do first of all it will try to search for that path if it finds the path then it will create inside that if it does not find the path it will create a new path file in the in this uh, path only okay like we saw over here it was not there earlier the cypress fixtures one was not there so it created a new folder and inside that it created a file but now let's say i want to create under cypress fixtures so which is this one okay so i will run this test case and we'll see now it should get created under fixtures so i will rerun my command and pick cypress open and we'll run this test case okay so let's see so now this is my file and it got passed so now if i go to cypress fixtures you see now i can see a file got created with this data so this is how we create how we create a new file with some under some specific path or if you want to create a new file with some new path okay both ways we can create we can do so these are some of the formats which we saw but there are other uh, lot many extensions with cypress supports so like if you want to create in csv you have to pass the extension as utf8 so there are multiple extensions which it supports you can again check from the official website but these are the generic one which we use in our test case most of the times okay now next one we will see how we can how we can read a file so for reading a file i'll just create a simple test case read file and we will see how we can read a file so again for reading a file also if we do not if we just pass the file name like we were doing in write file it will read from the project root level okay so if i if i want to read from the root level what i'll do i'll use the syntax cy.read file and inside that what we'll do we will just pass the path of we'll just pass the file name so for now i will read this file because we already created this file using write file so we know this file is there i will read file and pass over here 
and then you can again print also so let's say you can perform further functions on it you, if you want to perform some assertions you want to validate it is there or not or you want to just view the data is there or not so what i'll do i'll print the data so i'll use then and inside that you can use any name i'm just passing the data and you can do cy.log so in cypress we use cy.log to print our data okay so if you want to print anything just use cypress uh, cy.log and over here we will pass data so now it will first of all it will read a file and then it will pass the content all the data to this data uh, variable and then it will print this one so now we'll run this test case and we'll see if we are so all this data is getting printed or not so npx cypress open okay so we'll select from here and i'll select my file okay let me i guess last last session was not completed close so i will open it again npx cypress open and let's see now so now you see read file and inside that we are printing the text so cypress test hello world this was my text inside this first test.txt you see so now i'm printing the data also next thing if you want to print from some specific path what you will do you will pass you will pass over here the path of the file so i will just copy this one we have this path already because we know we created a we created this file under cypress fixtures so i want to read the file which is from the project level if i see i want to read a file which is under cypress under fixtures and this one i want to read this data okay so what i'll i'll do i'll go over here i'll write cy.read file okay and inside that i will pass the path now instead of file name i will pass the file name along with the path so cypress fixtures yeah so now what it will do it will read the file from this from this path okay and then i can again copy this one because i want to print it so for printing i will pass this so this data would be passed inside the data and then we can print over here right okay so we'll see what is the error okay my describe is not close now i'll run my test case so you see over here now you can see it is reading first test case is cypress test hello world second one if you see the object got printed over here so this was my json file in json file i mean the data was this data one test one data two test two so this was my data inside that okay so this is my json file and this data we are printing now so this is this is the way how we can actually uh, print the data let's say if you want to perform some assertions on this file what let's say you want to see if it is present or not or uh, then you if it contains some text so if it contains maybe i want to check if it contains test dot one so how will i do that what i'll do i'll just i'll just copy this again okay because we will be reading same file and over here instead of this i will now i'll use dot should so dot should we use for the assertion part so if you want to perform some assertions we use dot should so dot should if if i want to check it exists or not so i will use dot should exist so it will check if the file is there or not okay now this assertion passed what if i pass the invalid file in this case we'll see both the scenarios maybe in your test automation what you are doing you are trying to read a file and you are checking if the file is there or not first of all you are checking the file is there and then you will perform some validation on that so in that case what you can do so let's say over here i was actually comparing wrong file i was checking wrong file which is not there so you see 
my test kit test case got failed expected null to exist why it's null because it does not find this one so you see because the file does not exist at the following path so it will fail now what if i want to uh, perform the further action so let's say i want to perform some uh, assertion but uh, for i will pass this one first test.txt okay over here i will pass first test.txt and inside this first i will check should exist the file exist or not okay so this is my valid scenario and then i will check if that contains sorry this is and we use and and inside that we check if it contains some data let's say you want to check if that file contain uh, test or whatever data you want to assert basically verify so now i will check for test i'm checking if that file contain the text test test if it contain then the test case will pass otherwise it will fail let's see now so my first test case i know it got failed okay what i'll i'll do i'll just comment this for now or i'll just pass a correct file name so that it does not stop my test case to work so you see expected to exist yeah this got passed second one is expected it to exist so the file is there and it contains the test also it contains that particular text also so this is how you read a file and then how you can perform uh, some validation also on the file if you want to perform some assertions so you can do it like this because during the framework creation we will see how these reading file and writing file are beneficial because when you create uh, let's say on your web application if there is a form or there is some input box where you have to enter the text so it's not a good practice to pass all the you know values all the data values inside your test class no you should actually read it from a some uh, you should read it from a file because in future if you want to change it you can change it at one place and you don't have to change it in all the test cases so in that case it will be really helpful and useful it is one of the good coding practices uh, we should follow being an automation engineer so yes uh, in the upcoming videos in the advanced videos we will see when we create automation framework from the scratch we will use all these concepts okay to see we'll create automation framework for end-to-end -end application and there we will use write file and read file and we'll see how we can pass this text and passing the values for the input text or for the form filling and reading it from the file i hope this is clear to you and uh, if you like the concept please share it with others also so everyone can learn and please like and subscribe to the channel